Hello guys, welcome back to Ray House Gaming. And yesterday I shared with you guys about awakening. All right, you need to have around one hundred plus heroes to do the awakening. Okay, and then in today's videos, I'm going to share with you guys the informations of gold insignia. All right, we don't have it right now, so I will share with you guys with these informations. But first of all, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I am doing a lot of contents about this game and sharing a lot of information about this game. All right. And uh, okay, for the gold insignia, if you want to get one, you will need to have at least 60k to 70k ingots. Okay. The original price is uh, 27k. All right. But normally it will go up to at least 60k to 70k okay so you need to have a lot of ingots to get one gold insignia all right and when we have the cross server fashions then we will have the gold insignia in the oceans already and in sometimes in some events you can spend your money and get the gold insignia also but it is very expensive okay so um Without wasting any time, let me show you the table that I made for this gold insignia. Okay guys, this is the table that I made for you. Uh, for these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 insignia that you see in this page, I have shown you guys in my previous videos already, alright? So I will just go through one by one. Uh, first thing for the name and the explanation, I translated myself from Chinese to English. I'm not sure whether they will use the name that I use. Okay, never mind. Oh, right, the first one, seven kills. Um, I like this name. And this is used by the hero, the DPS heroes who can attack landwise, frontline, and backline, like Zhang Liao, Zhang Fei, and uh, Jia Xu. Okay, Guan Yu cannot use because Guan Yu can only attack one single target. All right, what this can do is, if the damage is being shared by the enemies, only fifty percent of the damage will be shared. Okay, uh, you all know that most of the heroes will use Brother Insignia and the Brother Insignia allows them to share the damage to their allies. And this, this 7 kills is used to counter the Brother Insignia. Okay, they cannot share 100% of the damage, they can only share 50% of the damage with their allies. Okay, next one is Greedy Wolf. This one is used by all the DPS heroes, okay. DPS meaning no healer, no supporter, no controller. Okay, DPS heroes. And what this can do is that when the skills kill the enemy, you will get all the remaining angles that the enemies have. Uh, for example, you are using a Sima Yi. If Sima Yi kills the enemies, then he will get all the angles from the enemies. Alright, so it's a very good one. Next, Legend Guan Yu or Go Guan Yu. This one is used by everybody. It will provide you initial angle plus two. And then the next two fight to the death and in the same boat. This one is used by tech heroes like Dong Zhuo, Sun Jian, Xia He Dun, and Ma Chao. Okay. And this fight to the death, I show you guys a few times in my videos already. And it will, with this insignia, you will only take damage equals to 50% of your maximum HP every round. Okay. So if over 50% you will only take one damage okay and then the next one is same like it's similar with brother insignia but it is used by only tank heroes and what it can do when allies from the same nation take direct damage from the enemies 50% of the damage will be shared to the tank hero who is using this insignia all right next one is legend dna or go dna this one is a better version of dna it will provide you damage 80% 80 percent um for these six insignia you have seen it already but we still have another six uh okay this six you have not seen this because uh you may have seen it somewhere but i have not shared this six insignia because uh it is not available in my chinese server yet i am playing in server 180 plus so it's not available yet it is available in those earlier server okay uh it will also take a longer time to reach english version but anyway let me just share with you guys all right so the first one check no resistance um well i know the name is a bit strange just just forget about it all right i really don't know 
how to translate this one. So check no resistance. Um, this one is used by the DPS heroes. Okay, uh, it will provide extra damage to enemies with negative effect. And if uh, if depending on the how many target you are attacking, you will also deal extra damage. Okay, let's say you are attacking one target, then you will deal extra damage equals to eighteen percent of enemy maximum hp okay so same like number two three four and six all right next one for each negative effect that enemies have you will deal the damage will be increased by 100 percent maximum is 300 percent and for this effect this insignia each warrior will activate only one time to the same target each round okay so for example you are using on uh uh jashi then Jashi can use this effect to the same target only one time each round. Okay. Next one is J uh Shin Yi. Uh we have Divine Shin Yi, alright. So this one is another Shin Yi. And this is used by all healers. Using this the healing skill will provide a shield to your three allies with the lowest HP. And the shield is equal to 8% of your maximum HP. Okay. Next one is J Hot Pursuit. I like this name too. Um, this is used by. Well, uh, actually, I should put uh, I should put a hero hero list here, <laughs> so that I don't have to think. Okay, so this is used by the controller. All right, uh, controller mean like hero that can stun, can silence, can uh paralyze. All right, so what it can do is attacking enemies who are affected by negative effects will reduce one anger point. Uh, same like same like this one. Okay, uh, the effect will be activate only one time to the same target each round by one heroes. Okay, if you are using this insignia on three heroes, then you can activate three times, but one hero to the same target, only one time. All right. Next is Legend Don't Draw or Go Don't Draw. This one is a better version of Don't Draw. It will provide you eighteen percent damage reduction. And the next one is a in impregnable fortress. Uh, uh, I translated this name and I don't know how to pronounce. Okay, it's a impregnable fortress, and uh, it can use by all heroes. Uh, at the at the start of the battle, you will have a shield that equals to 18% of your maximum HP. And then the last one is the Shade of Guangxia or the Shader. Okay, it is used by everybody. And with this insignia, if you take damage from burning, from poison, from unicorns, lightning strike, the damage will be reduced by 35%. All right. Uh, for the unicorn pet and white tiger pet and other pets, it will be available soon in the pet events. Okay, I mean they are they are good pet, but they are hard to build also. All right, so this insignia can reduce the damage from the unicorns pet. All right, and okay, so these are all the insignia that we currently have, and um, so uh, if you have any questions about this, you can always go and post on my Facebook group okay then I will I can share I can answer your questions there uh, try not to put it in the YouTube comments it's very hard to reply here uh, try to post this in my Facebook group so I can reply and can reply you with a photo or something and everybody can see it, okay so I hope these videos help you understand about gold insignia and what you should do is try to save money and you need at least 60 to 70k to buy gold insignia okay uh it's a very expensive but at the end of the day you will still need this okay this is this will make the difference all right so guys thank you for watching i think i think we have the boss event now so thank you for watching i will see you guys in my next videos next video is about divine heroes okay some divine heroes we don't have in the game i will share with you guys what they can do okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos i will see you guys in my next videos bye bye